Hello everyone, today we're going to unload our gas kiln. This is a little electric kiln that we converted to propane recently. And today we're going to unload and see what kind of goodies we get out of it. This bowl is one of Kyle Anderson's. It looks like he used Shino, Tomoko, and Copper Red all on this piece. Here we have another bowl by Kyle Anderson. This is another Kyle Anderson piece, a little altered pitcher. And here we have one of my vases. The top portion of this vase is Shino, the bottom portion is Tomoko. Alright, now I'm going to stop for a moment and take these shelves out of the kiln and we'll see what's under. Okay, here we have the second shelf. All the pots are exposed. Here we have a Shino bowl, or excuse me, a Tomoko bowl. This is one of my pieces. I think that might be one of my favorite ones out of the kiln so far. Here we have a copper red dish. Looks like the glaze was a little too thick, so it moved a little bit. Made for an interesting pattern at least. Here on the bottom, we have another copper red bowl. This is another one of mine. Firing in the gas kiln is always a learning process. Every time you do it, things come out a little different. Here you can see some glaze defects, most likely from the glaze being too thick. So next time I will thin the glaze down a little bit more. But at least we know the reduction is occurring and turning the pot red and doing so completely. And you can hear them cooling, that's why I'm wearing the gloves, they're still tinging. So even though it's not perfect, I'm still optimistic. I know what to do next time. Here we have a mug by Brit Lyons. It came out beautiful. This is another one of Brit's pieces. It came out really nice. With the red on the inside. Alright, let's see if we can get this shelf out with one hand. And alas, the surprise is underneath. This is one of Kyle Anderson's bowls. This came out very beautiful.
And lastly, we have a couple of cups. A few more Brit Lions pieces. Overall, I think we got really good results from our little gas kiln. Some pieces came out great, others not so great, but we learned and we are ready for another firing. Stay tuned for more.